Okay, we are out here on the Rice Creek Trail. We're going to do the five mile levee loop, but we're going to add in the Hoffman's Crossing. And by the time we get the mile and a half out, mile and a half back, plus however further we extend it, it should make about an eight mile day. If you hear anything in my voice, it is that I'm sick. I have been sick on and off for three weeks between a sinus infection and <coughs> and then just allergies. So I know somebody fighting allergies. Let's head into the woods, right? Yep, sounds fun. So I won't be doing a lot of talking today. I will just be doing video and piece it together for you to give you an idea of the trail out here. And right now we're just on the lead in and we'll get to the actual trail soon. All right, so this trail does intersect with the Florida National Scenic Trail. There's the log book for that. And the Florida Trail continues that way. We just came in off of the lead in trail and we're gonna go make our loop. Show you in there. And we're gonna get started, here we go. Well, I am breaking in my brand new boots. Really good today. <laughs> Do be warned, <laughs> this trail is muddy. Um, it's always a little <laughs> muddy, but if there's been any rain, then it just becomes this little treacherous trek. And uh, we have had rain on and off. So we expected it. But do be warned, the trail is known to be muddy. And after a rain, it certainly is and will be. This is one of the many bridges. I think there's 51 or 52 out here. They used to all be numbered way back when. Maybe we'll catch a few numbers on some of them still, but this trail is really diverse. We are on the Florida Trail portion of our loop. We'll cut around to where the Hilton is that is the shelter on the Florida Trail. And from there, instead of continuing, we will start following a blue blaze to get us back to the lead-in. And I'll try to catch some of the bridges for you. Cedar Swamp Trail is actually the cut through that we saw back there on that post, which we're not doing the cut through, we're doing the full loop, but it is closed anyways. You cannot do the Cedar Swamp Trail right now. Lots of cypress knees out here. So, and they are right in the middle of the trail do be careful but my goodness it sure is pretty we haven't been out here in a really long time we used to do this trail pretty often and we have not been out here in a long long time Adrian actually noted that we had not been out here and recommended it so I'm glad she did made it to bridge number 10.
we came out to see the giant cedar tree. Maybe that's it out there. But we're not really sure because the sign The iris is... To give you guys a little bit of a trail update is we turned out of the Rice Creek area. We are following the Florida Trail out to Hoffman's Crossing. It's a really nice boardwalk bridge that extends a good ways and takes you over a swamp. So we decided to go ahead and go check it out. That's where we're at now is heading out to the crossing. At the end of that bridge, we will turn around and come back, reconnect to the loop and make it back out to the cars. And that will be approximately eight miles for the day. Well, the bridge is out at Hoffman's Crossing. You cannot cross. We are back on the trail. Heading out to the intersection to where we can rejoin our loop. This is a really pretty section, but because it's so enclosed, there's lots of bugs and mosquitoes in here. It'd be nice to get back out in the open in just a little bit. All right. They are very nasty. Where but is they, he? He's right there. Oh, there he is. Hi, buddy. That would be a pygmy rattlesnake on the Florida Trail. We are at the Hilton. This is a shelter on the Florida Trail. Great camping site. The pump is primed. There is some extra water over there in case it needs priming when you get here. A great picnic table. And there is a register. My name is actually in one of those books. And this is pretty awful. You guys take better care of our trails. Um, that's just awful. So I found a bag. Mike is packing it out for us. Uh, my bag, his back, because he's gonna carry it. Thank you so much. People do better with our trails. You don't have a magic fairy coming in here to clean up after you. You need to do it yourselves.